What could be worse than the Great White? The Nightmare Shark. The Master Monster. Row upon row of flesh-tearing teeth. Gobbler of gullible bathers at beaches. Cruelest of killers as the movie Jaws has burned into our brains. A fearless bully, for he has none to fear. Or does he? One sunny day near California's coastal islands, where about a hundred great whites gather for two months every fall to dine on the sumptuous sunbathing seals, a tourist boat chanced on a surprising display. Seymour, is he eating the shark? Oh my god! A biologist was radioed. He rushed to the scene. When he got there, the great white beast was just scattered gobbets of flesh floating like flotsam. But what had happened? It soon became clear the fatuous fish had met his match. A magnificent mammal, Orca the killer whale, apex predator. The wolf of the sea had dispatched the fish-brained and shameful shark who'd been loitering, lurking near the landlubber's boat. There was a splash and then nothing. There was no blood, there was no thrashing around. This is really, really strange. Yeah. The biologist was baffled. It was unprecedented. We just had no idea that that, that could happen. Soon, scientists worldwide scrambled and studied, followed sharks and orcas year after year, and finally found how this marvelous mammal with its prodigious brain has shark sushi for lunch. The orca are very, very smart, and they'll look at a particular prey item and they'll understand, OK, I need to attack it in such a way. Argentina, they sneak up on seals on the sand. Antarctica, make waves, wobble the seal into the water. New Zealand, blow bubbles to root out a ray. But sharks, the fiercest of fish to fillet? There's different populations of orca around the world that specialize in hunting for sharks. And they hunt in a number of different ways. They will corral the sharks up, but it is dangerous for them to hunt sharks. They do it very carefully. They found that when the orca bumps the great white, flipping it onto its back, it's a pussycat, slumbering sweet for the sampling. And the animal goes into this sleep, basically unconscious. If you turn a white shark upside down, it probably can't continue to breathe like that. Their learning abilities are so great that if one of them happened to do it and see that they kind of freeze or go into this state, they could communicate it to the other ones. And they might then get a hunting technique up that does this. Oh, and one other thing happened the day of the attack. Those hundred great whites feeding and feasting had all fled in a flash. A great crowd of cowards, not a fin to be seen. They were more afraid of being there than they were about missing an entire season of feeding. So, so that's pretty remarkable. So there you have it. The great white can be frightened. It takes this exuberant, dapper wave dancer in tuxedo dress and killer of killers to outwit the great white. For Good Morning America, Bill Blakemore, New York.